Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hey everybody, welcome back to a quick beer review. Uh, going back to Green Cheek, I feel like we've done a lot of Green Cheek beer reviews recently. And I will just say coming up, there's probably going to be a lot of Green Cheek beer reviews. <laughs> because they just opened in North County, San Diego and Oceanside. And I am absolutely stoked. Um, they opened Friday, which was March 1st, my birthday. I spent the entire weekend there. I literally went three days in a row, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So um, the first beer we're going to review from them is called Now Open in Oceanside. For those of you who don't know, Green Cheek took over uh, Bagby Beer Company. Bagby was awesome. It is a bummer that Bagby is not there anymore. But if someone was going to replace Bagby, Green Cheek is the perfect uh, brewery to do it. So um, I just... <laughs> I'm so stoked that Green Cheek is local to me now. Like, it's, I mean, they're, it's like having, I mean, if you're on the East Coast, it's like having Treehouse or Trillium or, um, like, what are, I don't know what the hype breweries are. Green Cheek, I mean, Evan has won so many awards, GABF awards. Like, his beer is unreal. And it's literally 15 minutes from where I'm at. So, super, super, I just, I'm so fucking stoked to have Green Cheek local. So, uh, this is a pretty label West Coast IPA. This is actually a collaboration with Jeff Bagby. Uh, 7.2% and it is mosaic and nectar on. So when was this canned? It had to have been a couple days ago, right? It says now open in Oceanside, February 26th. So five days in the can time of recording. It's too old. Um, spent a lot of time there this weekend. Got some green cheek glassware. Got a bunch of four packs. Drank a ton of beer. Uh, saw my buddy John from Four Brewers. We hung out and had beers. I, dude, I just, <laughs> I've spent a lot of time there already. And I just, I'm probably going to be there all the time. That's where I'm going to go. Like, why wouldn't I go there? Like, that's where we're going to drink. My wife was laughing. She was like, are we going to go there a third day in a row? I'm like, yeah. Cause I had some other friends who were like, oh, it's your birthday weekend. We want to have beers. I'm like, let's go to Green Cheek. <laughs> She's like, is this where we're going to be at all the time? I'm like, yes, this is where we're going to be. So. Uh, this beer pour, it's like that new school, uh, West coast IPA. It is a straw yellow. It probably looks darker on camera. Good two fingers of fluffy, fluffy bright white head. It's funny though, with same with like, um, North park beer is the new school, heavily hopped West coast IPAs. Not a lot of bubbles in the glass, but the head retention is chilling like ice cream filling mosaic and nectar on and a West coast IPA. Like I'm sure this is going to be pants off, right? Oh my gosh, it smells like dank blueberries, but like citrus and like stone fruit. <laughs> this beer smells so, so good. Yeah, it's like candied stone fruit with berries and like maybe like sweet tangerine. It's got a little bit, it's not, I don't want to say it's dank, um, but it has a little bit of like that sticky, icky, ooey kind of a thing with like a nice bready sweetness. This beer, fuck, it smells so good. I mean, it's super fresh. It's five days in the can. Of course, it's gonna be like explosively aromatic, but man, the nose of this beer is wild. Let's go and taste it. Cheers, I'm so green cheek. Welcome to North County. That's delicious. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Like this is over 7% and it drinks so light, like light on your palate, but so flavorful. All those berry notes you're smelling, you're tasting it. That's, I mean, mosaic is so berry forward sometimes to me, but like, it's got this cool, like it's either like nectarine or like peaches. There's some sort of stone fruit that like middle of your tongue hits. And then on the finish, it gets like kind of zesty, like orange, like orange peel. But it doesn't go crazy bitter. It doesn't go like that old school, like intense, like palate wrecking bitter. There's a bitterness there. It's a West Coast IPA, but it is super dry on the finish. And it makes me want to chug this beer. Gosh, this is fucking awesome. It's spritzy, it's light. There's a nice crackery, like breadiness on the finish of that. That just works well with all those hops. But yeah, this is that new school, like hop candy, um, but not overly sweet. It's just, you're getting those cool, like hard candy flavors out of the hops. The, like the berry note in this is just unreal. And yeah, it's like, 
either peachy or nectarine something like that with a little bit of like that orange kind of citrusy zesty thing um, on the finish with that just like nice sweetness it just rounds out the beer so well like dude I know I've said it 10 times already in this review and I've been listen it's my birthday weekend I've been drinking all weekend this <laughs> I just I cannot believe that green cheek is local to me I'm fucking so stoked I'm going to spend so much money and so much time there, and I can't wait. We're going to make friends. We're going to meet people. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Um, so, yeah, if you're ever at Green Cheek and you <laughs> and you see me, come up and say hi. Like, let's hang out and drink beers. Like, I am I was talking to John about it. He, he was saying that this location where he's at is closer to him than the Orange County one. So, like, maybe I'll get to see him and hang out more. Like, I just, I'm so looking forward to spending all of my time at Green Cheek when I'm not being a baseball dad. So... This beer is fire. It is world class. I just, you drink Evans West Coast IP. I mean, dude, their hazy beers this weekend were awesome. I was drinking Pilsners. I was drinking German. They have all kinds of styles. Like everything was fucking awesome. The food was great. Um, it was packed. And they, I mean, I think they did like a soft opening on Thursday and then just kind of went like just feet first. Like we're getting after it. And Friday and Saturday and Sunday, all three days I was there, it was super packed, but everyone was being really patient. Like they're kind of working the kinks out. Um, I'm very much looking forward to having them here. So this beer is fantastic. I just, I'm over the moon excited. So good, good stuff. That's now open in Oceanside. I can't wait to put this sticker on my fridge behind me. The old beer fridge is getting a new sticker. Um, and I'm just looking forward to drinking all the green cheek beer. So um, if you have not had this beer, seek it out. It is worth your time. Um, it's worth trading for. If you're in California, green cheek will ship beer. So um, if you're up in Northern California and you want to drink this beer, I'd say this is definitely worth shipping. Um, if you're still trading beers, this is widely available at all locations. You don't have to trade an arm and a leg, but this is good, good stuff. So uh, that is it. I'm out of here. See you guys soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All that shit. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.